Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and check it out. We are in Zoom. Uh, I got into some Zoom and I like how it records and uh, the feeling of it all. And I can communicate with you guys anytime I'm browsing on the web to show you guys some tips and tricks of things. Uh, so I hope you do like this. Uh, it's my first time doing this on this channel. Uh, so in this video, I want to talk to you about navigating my own personal website. Guys, I get a lot of questions on a daily basis on uh, do you have a video on this? Do you have a video on this? How do I do this? How do I do that? And, you know, I do have over 600 videos on YouTube and on there for 14 years. And uh, so we got a substantial library on there for how to's tips and tricks for the Volkswagen. And so I'll get asked the question if I have a certain video and I do. Most of the time I do have a video for a particular topic that you're interested in knowing about. But it seems that some people are having some difficulty finding some of the videos. So I'm going to go through this video and show you how to go through my website, you know, how to browse through the, the video section and also go through my past car, uh, uh, you know, Beatles that I have personally worked on, whether they were full restorations or a parcel restoration or a car that we bought and then sold maybe. And you can go through that particular car and how to search for those. Because when you go through past cars that I've done, a lot of people like our color combinations that we do. So they want to know the color code. They want to know the interior and yada, yada. And I have hundreds of pictures for each car in their own galleries on my website. So I'm going to show you that so you can go through all this stuff. But before we do, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm going to, I'm going to be bringing you videos like this each and every week in the VW world. And guys, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm looking to start something new on the channel. I think this could be really cool, especially in this whole pandemic thing that we got going on right now. And that is, I want to interview you. I want to see your bug or your gear or your bus. And let's chat. Let's have a VW chat. We could, we could do a Zoom meeting and then you can turn your camera around on your, your pad, your phone, your computer, go into your garage or go on your driveway and show off your bug show off your dub give us the story did you restore it is it original is it have the patina does it have some history with it does it go around the world whatever the case may be i want to know your story of your vw and so i think that could be really really cool for us to do and and get to know people across the country or even across the globe who has a vw to talk about so uh, vws are, are full of stories so Let's chat about it. So be sure to leave your uh, a comment in the comment section below or hit me up in an email. You can go to my website and I'll show you how to, how to contact me through my website and give me the story of your car. You know, an engaging story is wonderful. It's going to help many of our viewers see what you're working on and gives just everybody ideas of what they can do to their VW. And it's, the VW stories are just phenomenal, guys. So in the comment section below, Please be sure to leave your story or your dub or contact me in an email and let's talk. Also, I'm going to be announcing the winners to the classic giveaway. So hashtag classic giveaway, Caffer Lab. I'm going to be uh, announcing the winners hopefully this week. Um, just waiting for my guy Drew at Caffer Lab to let me know who he picks. And I will, guy, uh, guys, I'll let you know either tomorrow or the next day who is the, the five lucky winners to get those steering wheel keychains. Okay, with that out of the way, Let's go to my website and uh, we'll do some browsing and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to get your information. I'll show you some YouTube stuff and the Samba and things like that. So I'm going to go to share my screen. I'm going to minimize that. So here's my website, classicvwbugs.com. Many of you guys know this, but you know, there's some non-tech people out there and they're not used to browsing and they're not used to some things that pop up on the web. And I'm just going to show you how to do this. And also this guy, guys, this website was also optimized for uh, mobile devices, your tablet or your phone. So basically, guys, you're on my website here. You can scroll down, build a bug, find a bug, buy a bug. I have all these, these programs right here. You click on any one of these, it takes you to the respectable page. My latest news is right here. So you keep going down. Here's some you know, videos of mine that I've done recently and our current build a bug project list. And then there's, of course, there's more down here. There's more videos and things like that. So pretty simple to navigate. I got my address here, phone number. My email address is right here as well at the bottom. Newsletter, guys, I don't have a newsletter anymore. 
I stopped doing that a few years ago. Uh, so the best way to reach me or to, to get information about what we're putting out there is probably YouTube because I do that on a weekly basis. So that basically is the newsletter, the videos. So I might bring it back up, you know, bring it back in the future, but yeah, I, I, I gotta, I don't know. It just, I'm doing so many different aspects of social. So I just feel like, you know, if we can, if you can find me at one place, that's great uh, to get my content. So we got build a bug here. What is build a bug? Build a bug is my restoration program. And that's where I can build a bug for you to your liking. Uh, guys, it's pricey. All right. You know, I, I, people will always ask me what, what are the general costs for my build a bug? And it's right here. So you either click on build a bug or you wait for the drop down menu and you hit what is build a bug. And that'll take you to my site, the page for build a bug. Now, this video is old. I'm a lot younger. I'm a lot thinner. <laughs> and uh, so I give you, a, you know, a basic overview of what the build, what the program is all about, the build a bug program. But uh, the pricing that's in the video is probably is off. So this is several years ago, probably I, maybe even 10 years ago, this video went up. Uh, but if you want to see the latest pricing uh, from August 2019, it's already over a year's old. And I have the updated pricing here. And I'm going to do a video on this, guys, pretty soon and breaking it down, why it's pricey, what's going on. And I can, I can discuss this with you in, in length and detail or just call me or email me and say, hey, what, what's with the pricing? And, you know, if you if you contact any other shop across the country that's doing VW restorations or any sort of car restorations, I'm right there. Uh, and, and many times I come in under what some of these guys uh, are charging. So um, if you want to talk about that, uh, then you can also go into our build a bug projects. And these are my latest projects right here. So on the left hand side of the ongoing projects that I have going on. And then on the right side are the finished projects that I have. Now, what's nice about seeing these any of these projects, you can go in each and every one of them say Lori's here, which was a 62 we completed earlier this year. So always I have the, the main picture here and the descriptions and this link right here, picks updated. I always have this on each and every project. You click this, it's gonna open up a gallery with hundreds and hundreds of pictures. And I don't hide anything guys. Everything is shown here from start to finish. Some, some, some projects I got over 700 pictures. So here's the car when we first got it in and I was stripping it down, going through the seats, taking it to the, the, the paint shop, media blasting the car down to bare metal and going through the whole process of the restoration and body work. Now, what's good about this is you, show, you see what kind of color the car is and you also see what kind of interior combinations we did as well. And this was a car that we actually went back to the bone stock interior that the client wanted. I'll show the, mo the motor build here as well. We're, we're blasting the chassis. So nothing's hidden here. You see exactly what we do with every restoration. I'm not hiding nothing. And you guys, there's no questions asked here. Uh, you guys can come here and you can contact me and say, hey, what did you do with this restoration? What'd you do with that restoration? You know, if you see something I did wrong, and you want to comment? Sure, I'm all, I'm all ears. Bring it on, you know? So... This is what we do here at my shop. And it's pretty extensive with these restorations. And, you know, the cars do come out nice. I got to say, I mean, uh, we've been doing it for a long time now. So, but like, you know, you get to see the ins and outs of what we do, the insulation we put in. And also, again, the, the interior, how I pad up the headliners and such. You can click on each picture and that'll get bigger. And you see how we go about doing our assembly. And here you can see the different color combinations we did. So here's the back seat. This was just like the, the standard off-white interior, two-tone door panels, things like that. And this is all here for you. So that's just one example. So, and I have plenty of other examples. So if you wanna, if you wanna know about color combinations and things, it's a great resource to go through these pages and see what we did for each car. And every car has a gallery to it, hundreds of photos. So they all, they're all the same, same setup on each page. So pick, and I also have videos on each page as well, showing the car. So if you click on right down here, does it, I have a, the videos associated with each car here. So again, the pictures, this is another 
car we did and you see the interior this was more of our signature interior kit we put in this car and many people ask us about our signature kits so actually this is the lenny cop interior i thought i was clicking on another car guys i'm sorry so this is from lenny from west coast classic restorations and this is the bone stock interior so the car i was looking to get to we go back was okay this one i'm sorry the 66 it looks very close for a second there so this is a 66 sunroof we did for bill and again videos for each car there's bill me and him and then the kit we put inside this was one of our sig kits that we get from Sofine. so you know anytime you want to know about different combinations of what you could do i have so many examples on my website for you to browse in and and see what's you know what's up. What what are the options that are available? And anytime you want to call me and and have me you know give you some ideas or consult you to some degree, I'm I'm here for you. So, but when you you know also here with the bot with the uh, build a bug, I also have the find a bug program. So that's our commission program where I can find you a bug, guys. So if you don't if you don't if you don't have the money to for a build a bug. And you're in, say, the common the common value range today is anywhere between ten and twenty five grand, uh, which is very common. People are in that kind of a budget. That seems to be the hot area. I can find you a car. I look across the country. I have contacts across the country. I communicate with many people in the Volkswagen industry or the Volkswagen hobby. And there's many things that are out there for sale that are not necessarily listed on the web. So I can help you find a bug. And what's nice is we go through, you know, the extensive so-called vetting process to see if the bug is suitable for you. And if, you know, if it works for you, then we bring it back to the shop. We go through the car, make sure everything's up to speed. Everything's running and functioning correctly. And if you want any changes, we could do it here in the shop. So the find a bug program is, an, is another option for you. And then the buy a bug, you currently see what we have for sale. So that'll bring up right now, I think we just have, I have a pro, uh, 66 project for sale right now. So sometimes if you see any broken links on my site, guys, let me know. I try to monitor my site as best as possible uh, whenever I got the time. So uh, every week I update it. You can also go to in the, under the buy a bug, previously sold VW bugs. Now guys, this is my complete history of all the bugs we have touched in the last 15 years. So there are so many pages here of all the bugs that we have either fully restored, partially restored, bought, and then sold. I rarely sell anymore, guys. Um, but every now and then, we, we might come across a car that's, that's worth buying and to fix up. So I have so many pages here, years and years of bugs. And each car, again, you can, you can hit, and then that will bring you to a gallery and gives you a brief story on the car. So yeah, here's another photo gallery. Click on this. This wasn't a car that we restored, but it's a car we touched up and added our little flair to it to make it right. So you can click on these pictures again and see all the history about us. So, and then here's our, our most popular section, news, videos, and tips. Of course, most people are going to look at the restoration tips. I've been doing restoration tips again for about 15 years. I got over 600 videos on YouTube. So. I have bug news here, which is anytime I really I post anything on my site, whether it's a tip or something that we've come across or a media um, uh, shout out to us or something, it goes into the news section. The VW videos, that's restoration tips will be in there as well, but also say road trip videos, uh, my fall foliage cruise videos, that sort of thing. Um, so you can click on that and then that would bring up even like a video like this that I'm doing right now will go there. My vlogs go there as well. And guys, anytime you look to, to find a particular topic or a tip, I have a search bar on my website on the top and at the bottom. Just punch in a search for what you're looking for. So say, for example, you are looking for, I don't know, engine rebuild. You search for that, just like you're searching on Google, and 
I got a list of my engine rebuild videos that pop up 36 horsepower, full engine rebuild, 1600 or 1641cc, complete engine rebuild. All the videos are there. You click on them and they pop up. Now, a lot of people are always going to my engine videos and they said they, I talk about the notes in the videos and they can't find the notes. And I, <laughs> I can't make it easier. The, the link is right below the video here on the page. You click on this and the notes come up and you can download this. Go back, 36 horsepower notes. This is the article that was off of VW Trends, I believe. So that's here too. So everything is there. I try to monitor and make sure all my links work. Even if you went to this video on YouTube, in the, in the description below the video are the links to those notes. So I have everything there. But if you wanted to just browse my tips, you would hover over this restoration tips, the menu pops up, hit restoration tips. I know you can click on this as well, guys, but just when you hover these things, the, the drop down menu comes in. Hit that, restoration tips. And then here's all of the tips from the beginning. There's a ton of them here. And if you don't want to see them here, you can see them on YouTube. But I have pages upon pages of videos of showing restoration tips and such years going back years and again if you can't find it in the list you don't want to go through the the 20 pages of course you just do a search something that's on your mind now keep your search terms simple so like i did before engine rebuild that's pretty broad right but if you want 36 horsepower engine rebuild so then just put in 36 horsepower and then that'll narrow down the list for you. So, yeah, um, interior, you know, seats or something, seat upholstery. All right, how to restore and reupholster beetle seats. It's been up since 2015. So, you know, don't, re I don't write sentences, like you don't have to put this whole sentence in in the search, just use particular keywords, whether it's reupholster, seats, restore, seats, these two words alone, you know. So just kind of think in, you know, uh, key terms, keyword terms to punch in the search, and it will pop up. Uh, there's people that contact me, say they can't find the engine rebuild video. Meanwhile, they just spoke to me and gave me the two keywords that they're searching for, engine rebuild. If you just punch that in a search on my site, that video will come up. And they say they can't find it. And I, I don't know how <laughs> it, it comes up. So uh, so you have those um, restoration tips and then the press, any sort of you know recent press that we've gotten um, with media or, or such, you know, you can see that. Drive-in News was the latest one. That was an article, pretty cool stuff. So the CBS articles are here, the USA Today, um, the Fox News. So yeah, um, pretty cool. And then if you want to contact me, the best way to contact me, oh, I also have my store. I got my engine insulation uh, tar boards are here. My Carmen Ghia boards are here. Floor pan insulation kit. The Zalik bench starter ring adapter kit and LEDs is, are here as well. And then if you want to contact me, it's right here about us. Contact us, person, my personal bug projects, my shop. And again, my newsletter is on post is, you know, kind of stopped right now, but you can contact me right here. Just say contact us. I have a contact form that's on the site or my email address is right here as well. So um, it, it's all here. I try to make this site as simple as possible, guys, for you. And um, just take your time and navigate. There's no rush here. And uh, you'll be able to find your content. If uh, you want to go to YouTube, you would do the same thing here. And basically, like if you're searching for any sort of restoration tip, so if you did VW Beetle engine rebuild, you got a list of, of stuff coming in. So again, keep the keep the terms simple here. A lot of times, you know, YouTube will finish, you know, will finish the the the, the words for you here. So there's always a drop down that comes in. And you can, so if I just get rid of say VW Beetle 
engine. Now here's all the common terms that are coming up. So you got rebuild, removal, engine, sound, upgrade, wiring, install, you know, Vito Beetle engine install. And here you go, you got J bugs. And so, you know, very cool. Um, VW Beetle restoration. Here's my step-by-step -step tip, guys. I, I pop up here, of course. And along with others, there's so many videos and tips today, guys. You just can't, you can't go wrong. Um, so, yeah. And here's my, here's a good one you guys should check out as a, how to budget your restoration. I did this two years ago. The pricing has already changed in two years. So take a look at that. Um, that'll give you an idea. And of course, the pricing has changed not for the, the less lesser amount. It's definitely gone up in value, uh, in cost rather. So take a look at that. But, you know, there's so much content here. I know it can be overwhelming when you look at a lot of different things that come up on screen. But, um, you know, keep your terms simple. You know, the, uh, and, you know, but if you, you broaden your terms a little bit, so VW Beetle restoration, say you look in uh, headliner. So you got these guys coming up. I talk about vinyl headliners. You know, there's a lot of stuff these days. It's just, it's endless. There's another one of mine. So this is where you can go. And again, if you want to narrow it down even more to find my specific videos, you would go to either my website directly or just click on my name, Chris Fallone, go into my videos, and then you'll see these are just all my videos. And then you can search within my channel by hitting the search, you know, a little glass here, or, uh, you know, uh, search glass here. So, yeah, um, and that's it's just my stuff. So, and then of course, there's the Samba. I tell you guys to use this site. It's a great uh, resource. And what I like about this site, again, is they got a lot of technical information, technical VIN, num VIN and chassis numbers here. People get confused here with the VIN and chassis numbers. I tell them to go here. Now, by default, it always shows type two. It should be type one if you're a Beetle, type two bus. Um, but by default, it's type two because the website's called the Samba. Um, but type one, Beetle. Um, and then here are the VIN numbers on the far left. And then the next column here, oops, I'm sorry, the column here, like the second one over to the right, towards the right, is the are the engine numbers. Now, people sometimes will say, oh, I have my VIN number to my car and I can't find my VIN number on the Samba website. Your VIN number will not be on this page. It's a ratio. It's within the month ratio or, you know, time span. They would not be able to list all the VIN numbers. So, and then what you, you know, formally, what you really want to do is you look at your VIN number and then here's the engine number. If the, the number of the uh, engine falls within the month or so of the birth of your car, then it's a good chance you have the original engine. So that's a quick tip right there. Um, but yeah, this is a great website. It's been around for a very long time and a great place to get a lot of technical information and data. I mean, they just got so much here. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, basically, just wanted to show you how to navigate a little bit on my site because I get a lot of questions, people looking for certain answers or videos. And um, this is how you, you browse my site, how you go through YouTube and uh, take a look at the, the Samba website. If you are new to the Volkswagen Beetle restoration hobby, quote unquote, the hobby, and you're looking to restore something. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you liked that video. Please be sure to... Um, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And again, I'll be getting out those uh, winners for the uh, steering wheels. And uh, again, I want to hear your story about your bug. Let's do a Zoom meeting and let's have some fun and talk dub. All right, guys. Well, that's that's it for today. Uh, I hope you like that. And um, yeah, sorry for the sun glare there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, I will. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Um...